Hey hey, Marcus House with you here, and I just wanted to start by saying a big thank you to the Kerbal Space Program community, in particular the community at the Kerbal Space Program subreddit uh, has, been, uh, has been pretty amazing. As an example, the Delta V link that I posted, which will actually be linked at the end of this video, received around 850 views uh, within a couple of days, and, and a good majority of that traffic was from the Reddit community. So for all those that haven't been to the uh, Kerbal Space Program subreddit, go and, go and check it out. The community is great. It's, it's possibly the best uh, community out there for Kerbal Space Program, and uh, I must admit I wasn't aware of it myself until only a few weeks ago. So yeah, if you, I mean, if you like the the work I've been doing with my channel so far over the last couple of weeks, and you do want to see more, please do upvote uh, upvote these posts. Please do share and uh, and subscribe. Because as you're probably aware, you can't get visibility in YouTube without subscribers. And if I can get enough just to get the ball rolling, then I can spend more time creating this content for you all. So I've made this video as a response to some of the questions in the comments about the Delta V video that I've recently posted. And I just wanted to share a public Google Doc spreadsheet that lets you just pop in your stage weights and your ISPs, uh, and it's just going to spit out the uh, the Delta V's for you, so you can actually click around the sheet and just get a good idea of how those formulas work. The link to this public sheet's in the description. Uh, you can't modify it unless you copy it, but if you've got a Google account, which a lot uh, a lot of people will have, then you can just make a copy of the sheet to your own Google Docs and play around to your heart's content. So the spreadsheet is set up with eight stages to demonstrate the principle of this, and we've actually put the same engines on a test rocket. I've even started off with the first stage being a dual vector engine stage, and then the rest of the stages just subsequently go down in power level. So we start off with the mainsail, then the skipper, then the poodle, the reliant engine, the swivel engine, the terrier engine, and then obviously the tiny spark engine. So in the sheet you can see that I've set up the formulas in column E there, uh, which is basically doing all the grunt work, and then the total delta V under the red there is really just tallying all that together. Out on the right side of the sheet we've got our gravity constant there, the acceleration due to gravity at Earth's surface, uh, which is being used in our formulas. And I've also popped in a copy of the atmosphere and vacuum ISP numbers for each of the uh, each of the main engines. I haven't included all engines, but that's the good majority of them, and they're really just here for easy reference. So all of our rocket stages together here gives us a total delta V, based on our formula, for 10,443.6 meters per second. So let's give this a go. I've placed our rocket in an orbit and cancelled out all of its velocity, so it's basically completely still in Kerbin's reference frame. So all we're going to do here is point our craft right to the central point of the navball, and we're going to fire and accelerate as fast as we can until all of our stages run out. So these are the vector engines for our first stage. Obviously I'm time accelerating a little here throughout all these stages, but I'm also speeding up the video as well, just so it doesn't take such a long time to burn all these stages out. And off goes our mainsail engine. That first stage got us to 1,695 metres per second. Up to the skipper engine now. And we had 3,529 metres per second for that second stage. The poodle engine, and that was staged at 4,583 metres per second. You'll have noticed there that I had a bit of trouble with the gimbal going all crazy, so I just had to reduce that setting in the engine. Just pop the fairings, add the Reliant engine, and just there we were up to 5,596 metres per second. And the swivel engine, staged at 6,478 metres per second. Off goes that little Terrier engine, staged at 7,337 metres per second. And just coming up to our final stage, the little spark engine. So that was staged at 8,701 metres per second. And there you have it. Our total delta V after all of those eight stages was 10,569 metres per second. Now that's actually a gain of 125.4 metres per second based on our delta V spreadsheet. Normally, of course, you'd expect the opposite. Um, you know, slight variations would generally give you less delta V, so I suspect what's happened here in that is in particular in that last stage. 
I expect seeing as those parts for that last stage are so, so tiny and weigh so little that there's probably a slight bit of inaccuracy, just some slight rounding issues with that. As an example, just adding 0.05 of a tonne can just make hundreds of metres per second difference in that last stage. So just with our basic math and our spreadsheet there, we've come to within 1% of the correct figure, which is just a fantastic result there. So again, a big thanks to the community for supporting the videos I've already done so far. There's a link to the original Delta V clip in the description and at the end of this video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you uh, find some value from that spreadsheet. Remember that link is public, you can copy it around as much as you like. Please subscribe to see more, follow me on Twitter at Marcus House Game, and we'll see you in the next video. So the end velocity after stage 2 firing should be around the 2860 meter mark. So we're going to fire off here and see how we go. So again, starting off at 140 meters per second in our very elliptical orbit of Kerbin.